Um, since I often get the question, how I use a polarizer together with my leaf filters, uh, I thought it's a good idea to do a little video. So, if you're using leaf filters, you usually have this screw-on adapter for the lens and the leaf filter holder where the filters fit in. And if you have this uh, screwed in front of the lens, you normally will not screw a polarizer there. So this is why Lee has uh, polarizers which go in front of the Lee filter holder. And those polarizers are quite big, also quite expensive. What I prefer is to use normal polarizers which I screw directly in front of the lens and for a couple of years I've been using the Hoya HD polarizing filters which are great and I also tested the VF uh, photo polarizers which are very similar in terms of quality and yeah well I'd recommend one of those as polarizer and those I screw directly in front of the lens. Uh, the advantage of those little filters is, besides the price, I can use them without the filter holder. So if I'm shooting in the woods, some water or so, some streams, waterfalls, I just often use the polarizer. I don't need leaf filters there most of the time. So it's it's convenient uh, solution to just use the polarizer. But what now if I want to use also the leaf filters? So I need this adapter in front of the polarizer. And it's important that the polarizer you're using has also a screw on in front. And this is what both the Hoya and the VF photo polarizers have despite their thin build. So now I screw this and the leaf filter adapter in front of the polarizer. And what I need to do to achieve this is I use a lens cloth, have the filter adapter, put it in front of the polarizer, and then with the lens cloth, I just press into the middle directly on the glass of the polarizer. And when I do this, I can easily screw on the filter adapter without the polarizer turning. It takes a few screws and then I still can turn the polarizer but I have this adapter in front and now I can fit the leaf filter holder in front of the polarizer. And what I have here is the 1635mm wide angle lens on my 5D Mark II and with this setup I can shoot without vignetting with up to two leaf filters in the filter holder. Only at 16 millimeters, I get a little bit of a vignette in the corners. But this is quite okay. So, one problem now, if I'm shooting and I recognize I don't need the polarizer because it, um, yeah, sometimes if you have a blue sky and shooting wide angle, you get some uneven darkening in the sky, so I want to remove the polarizer, then I first need to remove the leaf filter holder, then I have to unscrew the adapter, and last but not least, I have to unscrew the polarizer, and then again, this time directly in front of the lens, screw the adapter, and then put the leaf filters in front. And you see this takes quite some time and this is a big disadvantage against using the big polarizers in front of the leaf filter holder. Where you can just unscrew the polarizer and leave the filter holder attached. This is much, much faster. But there is an alternative and I just recently came across it 
it's from 3D printed ideas. So it's basically with all those new 3D printers, this guy came up with a solution where you screw the filter holder, not in front of the polarizer or lens, but you screw it onto the bayonet of your lens. So as you would uh, the uh, normal, um, I don't know how it's called in English, this light. So against lens flares you have something you can screw there. Not sure how it's called in English, but uh, you can use this bayonet adapter and with, with one easy screw fit it directly on the lens. And there's not so much screwing as with a leaf filter adapter where you need many turns. So it's just a quarter of a turn and it's off. And a quarter of a turn and it's on. And it's rock solid. And now I can put this leaf filter holder in front of this adapter, uh, in front of this bayonet adapter, which is called BAPTA. I can still turn the polarizer and I can fit my leaf filters in front. Let's do this. So I have my leaf filters wrapped in a filter cloth just for protection. And besides uh, the easy mounting and unmounting of this BAPTA, another advantage is that the filters go closer to the polarizer. Um, this way, even at 16 millimeters with the 1635 lens, I get no vignetting at all. So it's an advantage for some lenses. If you have more vignetting than I had with this one, you should have a look at this 3D printed ideas BAPTA, which might be the solution there. Now if I recognize I want, I don't want to use the polarizer, just remove the filter holder. One easy turn here. I still need to unscrew the polarizer there, but it's much faster than before. Put the leaf filters in front again. Yeah, normally I have it mounted on my tripod, so it's much easier. Okay, and there we go. And it's also very solid, quite a neat idea.